And then second of all, it's it's a 10 minute break out of a two hour lecture. Now if you look at that, 120 minutes, 10 minutes, that's less than 10% of the time that you'd be spending in lecture. Less than 10% of the time. So realistically, not that big of a drop in time. Now, the advantages, 10 minutes. Go out there, stretch, relax, get a fresh breath of air, get your muscles moving. All this, again, comes back into a great learning environment. When Spielberg didn't get into his prestigious film schools, he didn't take the rejection personally. He simply charted a different path to his goal. When he was kicked off of a movie set, he didn't call it a plan of failure. He just moved to another set. When he was told to shoot his film in another format, he didn't let the obstacle stop him. He accepted the challenge and shot the film again. First, there are not enough advisors on this campus to meet with 45,000 students three times a year. It would be absolutely awesome if that was the case. As I said in the beginning, it's a valuable and incredible experience when you get to meet with someone one-on-one -on -one and they get to coach you personally through your academics. But here, at this size of a university, it would be impossible to implement. They were the warriors that paid the price for our freedom. And that cost is high, but we're willing to pay it. Not happily, but with respect and gratitude for those who so courageously sacrificed their lives for America, in the past as well as the future. While some of us have the luxury of a day off from work or school, our soldiers don't have such a privilege. War knows no holidays. War is 24-7, and war doesn't allow second chances. And on Memorial Day, we don't pay a tribute to war. Instead, we pay a tribute to the courage and the sacrifice of the Americans that lay down their lives for people they'll never meet. To them, we owe a debt we can never repay. To them, we owe our freedom, our happiness, and our gratitude. That is because 1,000 youth face this same insufferable and freezing fate of David every night. Yet this population, it isn't getting smaller, it isn't being reduced, it isn't being eliminated. Instead, it has skyrocketed from 650 to 1,200 youth within this year alone.